in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen greetings of peace and joy my dear brothers and sisters sometime back i send a word of thank you to a person who helps us in the ministry here and he responded me saying father it is my way of thanking god by ministering by serving him that person said father it's a joy to serve god and it is my way of saying a word of thank you by ministering my sisters and brothers in the gospel we have a beautiful moment when jesus goes to the house of simon peter his mother in law was sick we all know when someone is sick in the house our rhythm of life gets affected maybe peter's wife was upset if wife is upset surely the husband also is upset so the rhythm of life was lost and jesus enters into that house and jesus goes to that woman jesus heals her and what was her response as soon as she receives the healing she got up and she was serving jesus she was at the service of jesus she waited on jesus that was her way of saying thank you her way of saying thank you was by ministering jesus let us take this theme of gratitude for our reflection today on this sunday gospel reflection gratitude is not just saying thank you gratitude is that constant mindset of expressing thank you expressing gratefulness to everything that happens in our life my dear brothers and sisters in fact we should be able to respond to every situation in life with gratitude listen to god's word in first thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 17 and 18 rejoice always saint paul reminds us don't be gloomy don't be sad rejoice always have a smile on your face always rejoice always then second pray constantly pray constantly means entrust your life always to the hands of god if you rejoice if you pray constantly then the third step give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of god in christ jesus for you are you a person who wants to know god's will in in your life god's word is very clear first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of god god wants us to respond to every situation with gratitude with thankfulness i was recently talking to one of my good friends who is working in bangalore if you have traveled in bangalore you know there is constant traffic block and this person often travels by his vehicle and often caught up in the traffic he said in the initial days when he got transferred to bangalore and when he was working when he was caught up in the traffic he used to reach back home with anger with frustration with agitation but gradually he changed his mindset when he was caught up in the traffic he began to say word of thank you he began to think about all the good things happened in his life and he made that that conscious effort to say a word of thank you to god every time he was caught up in the traffic he spent his time in thanking god praising god remembering the wonderful blessing that he received in his life earlier that he is receiving every day he began to use that time as a time for time of thanksgiving he said there was a big difference in his life he reached back home with a smile on his face he reached back home with uh, cheerfulness he was no more frustrated now he says every time i get a traffic block i think that is an opportunity for me to thank god thank god so let us begin to have this attitude of gratitude in our life and you will see changes transformation in your life i just found a few benefits what are the benefits of having this attitude of gratitude i'm not going to explain explain these benefits just reading i'm just going to read seven seven benefits of having attitude of gratitude in our lives first gratitude will make you a person with good health you want to be healthy physically healthy emotionally healthy spiritually healthy build up this attitude of gratitude second to have 
sound sleep when you go to bed instead of thinking what went wrong instead of thinking who attacked you who caused pain to you think about all those good things even big and small even thank god for the small blessings that you received go to bed with a grateful heart thank you lord you blessed me thank you there is a roof over my head thank you there is a food on my table thank you i have clothes to wear thank you there are people around me thank you i have running water on my tap there are so many people who are without all these go to bed with a grateful heart i tell you you will have a sound deep sleep you will have a profound sleep and next day you will get up with great energy you will get up with great enthusiasm you will not get up tomorrow tired you will get sound sleep if you have gratitude third blessing gratitude is the antidote against every negative emotion are you a person who is who is troubled by negative emotion count your blessings count your blessing we have that beautiful hymn you may have also heard this beautiful hymn maybe after this homily you can play this hymn on youtube and listen count your blessing name them one by one count your blessing see what god has done are you ever burdened with a load of care does the cross seem heavy you are called to bear count your many blessings every doubt will fly and you will be singing as the days go by count your blessing my sisters and brothers gratitude is the antidote against negative emotions next blessing gratitude improves relationships in your family in your office if you are a person who has a habit of saying thank you if you are a person who expresses gratitude you will see you will build up good relationship next gratitude opens up new opportunities when you are expressing thank you when you have gratitude you will see new opportunities will be opened up you will see new people coming into your life new blessings will be on your way again the next blessing gratitude is a sign of spiritual growth a person who has grown up growing up in spirituality will have a grateful heart he will he or she will acknowledge i have received everything as a blessing first corinthians 4:16 we read that everything we have is a blessing God has blessed us in abundance and gratitude is an expression of our spiritual growth and the seventh blessing gratitude will make you to grow in self esteem do you want to grow in self esteem have this attitude in that gratitude you are thinking god has blessed me i am someone very special to god god's blessing is in me that will help you to grow in self esteem peter's mother in law when she was healed she expressed her gratitude in service how are you expressing your gratitude i just want to conclude with the three ways in which we can express our gratitude first first way in which we can express our gratitude is by worshiping god we have received everything from god thank god worship god let our gratitude be expressed in hymns of adoration worship think of our blessed mother when she was blessed her gratitude she expressed in her hymn of worship that is that is her joyful hymn which is called as magnificat let us have that hymn of worship worship god express our gratitude by worshiping god second way let us express our gratitude by serving god there are so many ways in which we can go serve god find an occasion find find an opportunity where you can serve god and serve god and express your gratitude finally express your gratitude by sharing christ with others have you experienced god's love share that love with someone else lead someone close to jesus that would be your way of expressing gratitude my sisters and brothers let us count our blessing god has blessed us and the more we realize we have been blessed we have only one response we want to live in gratitude and by expressing our gratitude let us let us feel his presence and proclaim he is our lord and master amen god bless you